we can assign keyboard shortcuts to controls so users can navigate the front panel without a mouse. So right click the control, go to advanced and then select key navigation. So this displays the key navigation tab of the properties window. LabView does not respond to keyboard shortcuts for hidden controls. When a user presses a keyboard shortcut while a VI runs, the associated control receives the focus. If the control is a text or a numeric control, LabView highlights the text so we can edit it. If the control is boolean, we have to press the spacebar, the enter or the enter key on the numeric keypad to change its value. So let's set some, let's say, F3 and along with control shift. Let's place a boolean button. Right click advanced key navigation. And for that, let's set F2 along with shift and control and let's have a string control as well advanced and then key navigation and let's set it to let's say F4 along with shift and control So if we run the VI and if I now press control shift F, F1 or control shift F2 then the focus goes to the OK button but if I press the space bar or enter the button does not toggle. Now let's press control shift F3 then the focus goes to the numeric control we can set the value control shift f4 and the focus goes to the string and we can then write our string there let's set a an LED to see when the button toggles. Let's go to block diagram and they connect these two. Let's go back to the front panel and let's right click advanced key navigation Let's turn focus off by setting non and then let's set toggle to let's say F2 along with shift and control keys. Let's press OK. Let's run the VI and if I now press control shift and F2 then nothing seems to be happening as the button is set to latching and it is reverting to its position very fast. So let's stop it and let's change the mechanical action to switch when released. Let's run the VI. Let's press the button's shortcut, Control, Shift, F2 and now we can see that the 
button is toggling and the LED is blinking. Also note that if we have indicators then if we right click and go to advance then the key navigation is not available because we cannot enter data in an indicator. Also if uh, we have event structures we are using event based programming then if we go to let's say OK button and then if we go to key down then we can use the key down event to generate an event when the user presses a specific key on the keyboard using these uh, outputs. 